Um, Mr. Chairman. Yes, sir. Mayor. Um, somewhat of a, of a pivot from what Mark just talked about, but I want to make sure we get this out and before the hearing ends. And, uh, you know, the the one wet blanket piece of this that I feel we need to also address is is um, is what health impacts uh, micromillimeter waves have um, because it's so new. And as a mayor, and as a mayor who's sitting on this panel and the media is here, I'm going to get asked this uh, 20 times yet this evening about the health ramifications of 5G and small cell deployment in MMW. And I've been getting asked it a lot already. And I know there's no documented studies because the technology is so new. And it, it reminds me a little bit of you know, when microwaves came into our home and people were concerned about the microwaves and holding a cell phone to your head is going to fry your brain and these things. And um, I'm hearing this more and more. And so um, while the concern, I think, is very inflated. It is something that we, on as municipalities, are going to need help addressing. If we want to be excited and push this forward, which we are, we also need to have very clear um, direction, talking points, studies that have been done that show that there is no harm to our constituents and to the taxpayers on putting these small cells um, on towers close to libraries, close to schools, close to their homes. Uh, and so uh, I, for one, have been researching this and have not seen uh, any damaging effects of this. But I do think it's something that this group, um, you know, will have to just consider to look at and continue to study so that as we push the legislation forward, we can do so with not only a clear conscience, but also have the right answers for people who express that concern. Yeah, good, good point. And, I, and that is something that um, you, you do hear. We hear about it, too. And uh, I'm sure the FCC. Yeah, I'm happy about to, it too, to step yeah. in real quick on yeah. that. So, the FCC, as well as other agencies that are experts in health and safety issues, uh, are always looking very closely at these issues, staying up to date on the latest science. Uh, they've looked at all of the studies and all the information, and they've reached the determination uh, that these are safe. And that's a determination that is constantly uh, undergoing review, and any new information that comes up is taken into account. And in fact, given the position of the federal agencies on this, federal law actually says that state and local governments can't take RF uh, concerns into account, given how much work has already gone into this issue at the federal level. And that's not to say that you don't hear about these concerns, and we have community meetings that people raise the concerns. But what I can say is that at both at the FCC and other expert health agencies in Washington, uh, they stay very much up to speed on these issues mm -hmm. and have reached the determination that these are safe. Yeah. And I, and I uh, appreciate uh, that, uh, and, and you're right, Mayor, there is a lot of um, research has been done, um, but it's always important that uh, efforts be made, I think, to educate people, your constituents, my constituents, uh, people across this country who have that concern, uh, and, um, and, and make sure we're fully informed and understand exactly what, uh, if any, the, those health uh, risks are. But had, as I studied, and I haven't read a lot about it, the literature that you and the, and the uh, FCC, I think, have, um, I think most of it comes to the same conclusion in terms of the, the impacts. But it's something, certainly, that we need to be able to explain and be aware of. Um,